Hello everyone and welcome to this week's MySys Tips and Tricks video. This week we're going to talk about how do we manage our purchasing if we are not using the MRP module in MySys. We still have to purchase ahead of time and be considerate of the supplier's lead times to make sure we do not run short of any of the materials required for our production. So what is the next best option after MRP? Well, MySys offers what is called a buyer's advice report, which is available in multiple places. You can access it under the purchasing menu, under purchasing reports as buyer's advice, or under reports menu, under purchasing as buyer's advice report. This report will give us the option to identify which items we are looking at in terms of item number and or locations. We can open, run them open, basically not enter any of parameters here. And then we can look at which item types we want to purchase. In this case, let's just look at raw materials and bulk issue items that we want to check to see if there is a need to be purchased. Shortage basis is reorder. Uh, this is our reorder level that we identify for each of our items in their item master. And then an order quantity, which is what is the order size. And supplier info is an option to include or to exclude. So running this report with these selected parameters, what we get is MICE is going and looking at the current stock levels of each of the items in identified locations, if any locations have been selected, if not for all locations available, and giving us a report for items that are with a current stock, with an on-hand stock that is below what has been set for that item as the reorder level. In this case, we can see item number SL36 um, at location 01, it has no stock, and it has a reorder level of 2000 and a reorder quantity of 2400. Because reorder level is greater than the current on hand stock, the item is populated on the buyer's advice report and we're being advised to buy 2400. And then the suppliers are listed, whether there is single supplier or multiple. You can see in this SL36, we only have one supplier and some of the suppliers info has been populated from the supplier master. In the case of SL44, again, the stock is zero, reorder is 2000, and we're suggested to order 1000, but there are multiple suppliers. Now you cannot actually go from here, click on a button and create a purchase order. This is just an advice report. So you can put this to the side or save it as a PDF or print it out, whichever works best for you and then go and create purchase orders uh, based on this information. One thing to understand here is the importance of reorder level and order quantity and how these are used and calculated. To that end, we can take a look at an inventory chart where we have the days on the x-axis and quantities for any given item on the y-axis. Here is our legend, the inventory level is shown in orange as it depletes uh, day by day. And we have an order point with a gray horizontal line, probably around the 480 mark. It's not exactly shown. And then we have a safety stock, which Mises calls minimum. And we marked it at, as a horizontal line on the 200 level for our inventory. Now, our order point, which is our gray horizontal line is a formula that we need to calculate. It's not something we just make up. It needs to be a data driven uh, calculation and it's safety stock, which is our minimum in MISIS, which is this yellow line here, 200 and DDLT referring to demand during lead time. This is an important calculation. Uh, we need to calculate what DDLT is to properly be able to set up our order point. The DLT is the demand during lead time referring to how much of this item we are going to consume once we order it to the time that we receive it. How do we calculate that? 
in this case, you can see the orange inventory line is dropping to the order point. And we place an order at this point, but the order doesn't arrive as soon as we place it. There is a specific lead time. And the red arrows here show the lead time because this is the point when the order is received. So it seems like the lead time is like three days. We order on the 13th, it arrives on the 16th or something like that. So that's the first variable that we need to know, the lead time. The second variable is the yellow line. And this is showing us the demand during lead time. So that is our result. But how do we arrive at that? We need to know our average consumption of this item on a daily basis. So if you have a material usage report, you can use that to see the actual values. And if you don't have one uh, at Central Nervous Systems, we'd be glad to help uh, create one for you. But you look at this lead time, average lead time, or if you want to play it more safe, maximum, uh, sorry, not lead time, uh, maximum uh, consumption of this item. And you multiply it by the lead time, which in this case was three days, so that we can calculate the demand during lead time. If my lead time is three days and I'm consuming 50 of this item each day, then my demand during lead time is 50 times 350. So the way I determine my order point is I add that 150 to my safety stock of 200 and I arrive at uh, 350. Anytime my stock hits 350 or below, I need to order and that's exactly what MISIS does. Uses that reorder level to establish when an order should be placed. So we can use this as a very effective tool when trying to calculate our purchasing planning when we are not using MRP. I hope this helps you use MISIS more effectively.